So how did you feel after watching last night's political slugfest? However you felt, you're probably not alone. It is said that the debate that turned into a debacle just added to the stress that a lot of people are already feeling over the pandemic, the economy, racial injustice, and so many other critical issues. It is why Jesse DeGariato spoke to a nationally recognized expert on social anxiety and the media. A billion Sir, dollars if you that get rid is of absolutely you know what? You're, wait, not what true. You're you're, doing, however, you're it's not, described. Hey, gentlemen, is... <laughs> I hate to raise my voice, but it seems to be what happened on that stage in Cleveland between the presidential candidates may or may not have swayed voters. But it seems to have created an overall sense of discouragement or malaise, sort of this feeling like, how did we get to this point? Point. Feelings the clinical psychologist says were triggered by what was said. Proud boys, stand back and stand by. And the chaotic atmosphere viewers witnessed. Folks, do you have any idea what this clown's doing? Yeah, there's nothing smart about you, Joe. For some, she says the verbal blows reinforce their belief that the fate of the country depends on the election. Then probably it's absolutely legitimate to be depressed, frustrated, hopeless. How did you feel after the debate? First of all, I didn't watch it because I knew that it would raise my blood pressure. <laughs> Instead, the clinical psychologist found out how it went in the morning. She did what she advises others to do. If I'm discouraged, it's okay to take a break and calm down and step back from the media. McNaughton Castle says regulating your consumption of news helps relieve stress, but also you have to channel those frustrated, sad, depressed feelings into what can I do to make a difference? That was really a pr productive segment, wasn't it? <laughs> Keep yapping, man. The people understand you. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News. The presidential debate commission officials are saying that they'll be making changes to the format in an effort to avoid a repeat of last night. One idea circulating is giving the moderator the ability to cut off the microphones of one of the participants while his opponent is talking. The next debate will be between both candidates VP selections on October 7th. President Trump and Joe Biden will hit the stage again on October 15th in Miami, and they are scheduled again in October on the 22nd in Nashville.